John on the left and Eugene on the right, both playing Scorpion. Uh, John, as you can see by his mat, was at uh, the Grand Cote in uh, Philly at PAX Unplugged a few weeks ago. Sporting a lot of swag from that event too, I think. Yeah, he's got the tray, he's got the honor coins. I don't remember, I don't know what he played uh, at the event. He's, he's, he's a dyed in the wool Scorpion player, like that's all he plays. So I'm going to assume he also played Scorpion. Ah, right. So I'm he, guessing prize wall for yeah. the honor coin, not so much most honored clan. Uh, so uh, tra traditionally the honor coins are given out to the clan for a given day with the most honor. Um, unlikely to be Scorpion at any <laughs> given event. So he probably went to the prize wall and cashed in some of his points for, for those. So I think this is actually the first mirror match we've had on camera uh, at VTTV Live. So Well, it's the first repeat of Clan at all we've had. Yes. So it's going to be interesting to see. Ooh, uh, lots of Yoga Haru. And uh, it, it looks like John is definitely much more of a hard control uh, Scorpion deck versus what we saw at last round. Eugene's definitely seems much more yeah. aggressive. From it, from his decks in Destiny and Conquest and Game of Thrones, we know yeah. John loves control. That's what he yeah. always always plays. So those of you who may be familiar with uh, John's uh, likeness on camera, uh, he is also the proprietor of the Star Killer Base Channel. So any of you who are Destiny fans probably already recognize his work. But he's uh, he decided to try his hand at. At Legend of the Five Rings, he does a lot of community building up in northern Toronto, uh, helping to get a bunch of game nights going up there at 401 Games in the Vaughn location. Uh, also, he's uh, he's generous oh with alt art. So you see at the top of the screen, his uh, City of the Open Hand looks a little bit different from Eugene's. Uh, it is, of course, a foil version of that card uh, made by John himself. So Eugene opening with Yogo with two fate on him and a second guardsman. John with the Bayushi Liar. And I think he just passed early, right? So John John's fate is shown by the it's it's kinda hard to see, but it's a bit above his stronghold. It's the eight uh, scorpion icon thingies that he has. Yeah. Probably a double Very five. Very surprised with here, right? two fives yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, you bid less, and then your opponent just takes the honor back. So there's exactly. really no point. So I think John has an assassination in his hand. Yep. Which at least starts opening him up to start stealing back some honor. But, you know, assassinating a guardsman is not a particularly impressive play. Although I will say, I mean, without anything else on John's side of the board, that guardsman's getting in unmolested. Yeah. Well, we, John has a ton of fate. I wouldn't be surprised to see some characters in his hand. Yeah, unassuming Yajimbo. Yeah. Uh, not the kind of card I'd want to play on defense, really, unless it's a province you really want to protect, but... He also has that back alley, uh, so that will give him a chance for one of his conflict characters. Right. Keep him around and potentially play him in a future phase. So I feel like uh, Eugene's thinking about throwing a Pathfinder Blade onto the Seppin Guardsman. He also has a unassuming Jimbo of his own, but no fate to play it with. No. So he's going to start things off. Seppin Guardsman attacking with an Earth Conflict on Yogo's province. Oh, oh pilgrimage. pilgrimage gets the one fate. Uh, no, no, I don't, I'm not sure if that was him trying to defend with the liar or him just sliding the thing over. Yeah, no, so I, let's I, just I, assume that's moving. not defending. <laughs> I'm pretty, I think it's safe to say that he's not yeah. making an illegal move this early in the game. No, no, no. So yeah, just uh, letting that go. The fact that he needs three more strength means that it's yeah. going to be challenging to... Pil Pilgrimage is, is a really good province for getting your opponent to overcommit on cards. Uh, I found it actually a lot more useful than Shameful Display in a lot of situations. Now, of course, Scorpion being Seeker of Void can both r run both Pilgrimage and Shameful Display. Yep. But because 
In a lot of cases, Scorpion will benefit from the honor less than other factions. They, you've seen a lot of them will play Pilgrimage over Shameful Display. Yep. Back when they were Seeker of Air and didn't have you know, the, the, the choice to take both. Yeah, the, the loss of running both uh, Secret Cache and Manicure Garden hurts a bit, especially for the more control-oriented version of this deck. But uh, yeah, it's like you said, Travis. Uh, Shameful Display, uh, as far as honoring your own characters go, generally doesn't help you as much um, in that regard. I think John's already passed here, and uh, Eugene's just deciding. Yeah. yeah. So he does get the ring, although he does not get an effect. So, John also is going to take an honor, giving him the opportunity to take one Yep. from Eugene. So, all in all, that was just great for John. Yeah, that's almost like water ringing yourself. It's basically like, oh, I, well, I mean, I guess if he takes an honor, he just gets it right back. So, yeah. so here's going to be a political fire onto that province, uh, revealing meditations of the Tao. Now, we'll see if... Uh, We'll see if Eugene lets this one go, actually, or if he's going to send in Yogo. I just feel like that's a bit of a waste with Yogo. Uh, I do see a fate worse than death in Eugene's hand. He's still a ways off from playing that card. Uh, of course, face worse than death, one of the new cards from the latest pack, Fate Has No Secrets. Uh, very strong effect. Of course, uh, everyone's running Finger Jade these days, so... Which is? Oh, the effect is, uh, was it Dishonor, Bow, Send Home, Remove One Fate? Yes. Yeah, everything in the. <laughs> everything but kill. <laughs> oh, so. So oh, let's see. He moves, yeah, her heroin and immediately pauses yeah. the bait. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder, I wonder what the bid's gonna be like. I think. Do you just both bid five here? See, having, having a policy debate between two strengths that are very close together actually becomes a test of wills, and yeah, they both bid five here. So Eugene uh, is going to take a look at John's hand, see if there's anything worth taking. Um, I Can Swim has been turned off. The way the Scorpion actually is going to do almost zero here in this game, because it only affects non-Scorpion characters. So actually, with the exception of For Shame, I think uh, there isn't really a lot in uh, John's hand that really can affect this uh, fight. Although there is two For Shames no, in, yes. the, in, the, in his hand. I mean, you get rid of the character, right? You bow the character, you mean? No, no. <laughs> the conflict character in his hand. Oh, I see, yeah. Because you do have a lot of money, right? You just don't want to get counterattacked. Especially with the Banzai. Yeah, Censure not doing anything right now. Because the Force Shames are redundant, it's unappealing to take take any of those cards, but... And please tell me Eugene's not considering taking away the Scorpion. <laughs> yeah, so he does the uh, the thing we thought he was going to do. He's going to strip the Unassuming Yojimbo from John's hand. Uh, John's probably going to play for Shame here, yeah. Now, this is awkward, right? Because like it doesn't matter if you bow or dishonor. If you really wanted to, he you would just play the other. I think you just dishonor here. Right? Yeah. Now, the thing is, you just have to be careful, right? Because um, you know I Can Swim is in John's hand. And going forward, you're just going to have to be careful about not underbidding yourself. Uh, so that you open up uh, Yoga for being dishonored. So he does get the fire ring off. He's going to go ahead and dishonor the Sepin Guardsman. But uh, since that, uh, since that unassuming Yojimbo was taken from John's hand, I don't think he's going to be able to do a second conflict this turn. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot going to happen this round. Yeah. Everyone just passes out. Now, that all that being said, I think John is in an amazing position going into the next turn. Just because he has, he's going to be sitting on so much fate. Yeah. Oh, John doesn't have enough uh, of those tokens to represent his face <laughs> in the next round. He may have to borrow some of Eugene's. He's trying to borrow yeah. some of Eugene's. 
I could also go bring him some tokens. We'll see how they're doing here. Uh, here Consider triggers, draws him a card, going into the second turn. Uh, now, John is deciding whether or not, I think he's deciding whether or not to keep that uh, back alley hideaway. John has 15 of his tokens, need 16 for this round. I don't think that will be a, a circumstance that happens too often. All right, Yogo of his own. Actually, as a first player, this is a good way to get your, uh, to pull in your opponent's Yogo, especially if you're dishonored. Uh, so two young rumor mongers, a social so illusionist. Can you put the liar under the out back alley? Yes, okay. yeah, because you can see that there's a black card under the uh, yep. the alley, so that's gonna that's gonna be the uh, liar there. So that. Social illusion is actually probably going to be fairly important uh, during this game. If, uh, if Eugene decides to play it, I think here you want to play illusionist and past, I think. No, he's going to go for the courtier instead. So do you think he's going to be opening himself up for that way of the scorpion, though? Yeah, right? Like, I mean, you know you have the, he has way of the scorpion in his hand. There's really nothing else you're going to play it on. Um, it's just like the dials are never going to be in a situation. Yeah. You know, the fair chance the dials won't be in a situation. John uses the black alley to play out the liar. Yep. He's got a full board here. Actually, that's a fairly good move. I think that's, a, I think yeah. that's better than just waiting for something like an actress I mean, to come to play. He, he's in pretty good shape because, yeah. Eugene has faith, though, so he has conflict characters yeah. that he could potentially work with. Uh, I think John just forgot to take an honor back from Eugene, though, because John's at 9 honor and Eugene's at well, 10. Well, he just knew it would get stolen back, so there's no problem. I guess so. You're right. Until it's more than a one yep. difference. Yeah, double five again. <laughs> Remember, Eugene knows that the uh, I can swim is in John's hand, so he's going to have to be careful about how he bids. I don't, I don't know that uh, John drew a conflict character there. I'm sure he was... No, I don't think so. Hoping to. I don't think he has a lot of fate to work with this turn, but... Uh, he can go fishing with the favorite niece, of course. Or no, that's not the favorite niece. No, that is the... Uh, Bonding Diplomat, sorry. Yes. That is the one that gives you the Imperial favor when it leaves play. So this is a problem with uh, decks that are very heavily favored towards one uh, skill type, is that John doesn't realistically have an opportunity to... It has an arc like this. So like if you're up here? Okay. John doesn't have an opportunity to uh, maybe provoke with a military conflict to begin with. Void on the meditations. Not, uh, not a very strong attack, but uh, Eugene has no military, so. It's actually a pretty good attack because 
forces Yogo Haru to get in if he wants to defend. If he doesn't defend, he's just going to take a fade off it. Yes. Uh, Toma Cordier can't participate. Well, also, could this be a bonsai into... I don't, I don't know if he has one or not. Uh, John Church does have a bonsai, nice. actually. Because we saw that uh, from the uh, policy debate last yep. turn when uh, Eugene looked Definitely. through John's hand. So I was mistaken earlier. Actually, John has a really good... Um, he has a really good military attack here. And Eugene knows, or at least should know, that the bonsai is in John's hand. But unless Eugene has any military pumps of his own, like it doesn't make any sense to send Yoko Haru. Unless, of course... Well, I think he's thinking maybe to charge in with yeah. the Rune Rockers. So he does have unassuming Ajimbos of his own. Yeah, he does. He also has a Fine Katana. Yeah. Maybe he just does a province trade here. Okay. I like this. Send in Haru. Maybe him pull in his opponent's Haru. Yeah. So he'll pull in his opponent's Haru. He's probably going to... He's still going to lose this conflict, I think, but I think that's A-OK -okay by him. So Banzai will spend the honor to uh, give him plus four, putting him at five to zero. Now let's see if Eugene's willing to defend this. We'll use the meditations to take a fade off. Yep. How important is it to prevent the break? I'm not a big fan of fighting over meditations, honestly. And I don't know. I feel it's just better to counterattack. But he's going to do a charge with the young rumor monger, but that gets uh, Forge Edict by John. And will he Forge Edict back? He's thinking about it. So Eugene here is actually trying to decide if he wants to cancel the cancel. Oh, nice. Yeah. John decides to assassinate the security. It's a break. John will take an honor. Okay, so now it's Eugene's turn to declare conflict. He's probably going to play unassuming Jimbo, try to get past the blackmail artist. Blackmail artist. He's going to run right into a Fury, I think. Yep. So Mirror Mortis Fury will allow John to bow any attacker. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And uh, Eugene has no way to forge Edict that. So Eugene's operating with knowledge about half of John's hand. So maybe considering so much, I think Mere Murder's Fury is something that John drew this turn, but a lot of the other pieces he's aware of. Including the four shame uh, yep. that could come out. Now to someone, yeah, I mean, it's someone who is uh, perceptive, like having John assassinate that Otoma Courtier, especially when it's fairly obvious John could defend a political attack by Eugene, that might suggest that he's trying to shut off. Uh, I think John may Eugenics. also just be trying to avoid yeah. having to waste the defender. Yeah. I guess he could do it later. Yeah. So here's the unassuming Jimmy. He's going to go for the, the attack, put two fate on him. Um, he might put a Pathfinder Blade on this, uh, this character as well. Uh, John actually has a let go for that, so. This is probably going to turn out fairly badly for Eugene here. Yeah. Okay, he just... Actually, that's good, because he doesn't... Uh, 
doesn't give Eugene an opportunity to attack just in case he runs into an unreveal trigger on a province. Yeah. Incidentally, Pilgrimage, one of the really good provinces against Pathfinder's Blade. where he's going to attack. So he's attacking the pilgrimage. Click for snare says go scorpion. Yes, yeah. we are rooting for the scorpion player as well. <laughs> so we do see the... Uh, yeah. The Fury come out. He's a Fury, yeah. Uh, so that attack fizzles. So as it is right now, um, John can actually take out another province and maybe go for the Earth Ring. Yeah, political conflict. Go for the yep, the social illusionist. That's uh, that's a high impact, and he reveals a pilgrimage. Now, John actually yep, John actually has enough to break just on its own. He does. He kind of has yeah. a bonsai if he needs to. Well, bonsai doesn't work on political, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. My bad. So, I do see a court games. He's going to go ahead and try to court games the blackmail artist to try to. So, John uh, has no choice but to, use, to dishonor yeah. the blackmail artist? Well, uh, yes, because the liar is already dishonored. John may, may be considering uh, another Forge Edict. Yeah, again, Pilgrimage is a tough one because this is just going to put him one under breaking, and if he doesn't uh, doesn't pump it again, he's just not going to get any ring effect. But he's just going to let it happen. Now he does. Uh, if he does, uh, and he they does, both pass. Yeah. So he does get an honor. an honor for unopposed, and that's it. Well, no, he also gets an honor for winning the conflict yeah. with blackmail artist. So I thought that was actually going to be a huge tempo swing for John by breaking two provinces this turn, but uh, lucky pilgrimage. pilgrimage. Yeah, lucky pilgrimage for, like, prevented that from happening. He's still in good shape. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, Eugene has seven honor to John six. And uh, I, I think 10 fate to John's 9. Eugene's just deciding which, uh, which of those characters he doesn't need this turn. Keep one mirror monger, gets rid of the other two cards. That's interesting he got rid of the Shigenja. I'm not sure if Eugene's running three Cloud the Mines in his deck. Uh, I feel like Scorpion is one of the few uh, clans um, that can run Cloud the Mine consistently. But uh, yeah, it's quite John's possible he's not running. Couple actresses, so he's curious what, he, what his options are. Nothing great, really. This may be one of the few times where the uh, non Shinobi clause is actually relevant on Tashiro Actress. Although I don't think there's any shinobi in his discard pile. No. I think Young Rumor Monger might be the biggest card. Less than uh, that's actually targetable. Actually, I would take the Social Illusionist. 
Because then you can, too, yeah. yeah, you can uh, remove the dishonor from your blackmail artist, so you can use four G again. But yeah, Tomo Cordier first for Eugene. Of course, that's only going to be a defensive card this turn because uh, he cannot attack a player that has the Imperial favor. Favored niece coming out for John. This is a really good card in Scor Scorpion Mirrors. Is uh, way the Scorpion is an almost uh, dead card in in this matchup, so it's a good way to cycle those out. Yeah. And of course, it is a courtier. The only problem is uh, Forge edicting a favored niece is actually fairly painful because of the two glory on her. So yeah, we see the first of two cycles with the favored niece getting rid of that way of the scorpion. I'm curious about John. Oh, okay, John. Yeah, taking the honor now, knowing that he can uh, with the manipulator uh, make sure he keeps at at worst even. Yep. So that he won't be able to steal the honor back. So here's another cycle, discarding the other way of the scorpion. Looks like he drew a conflict character yeah. that time. And this is all happening during Dynasty phase, so Eugene has long since passed. Now he's the one sitting on a bunch of fate. Uh, plays out the Sashiro Actress, which means that John is going broke for this play. John gets to go first, so he's going to take two fate off that air ring if he'd like. Yep. I think both players bid low this turn. Uh, no. It's a bit of a game of chicken here. Yeah. I oh, thought John would five keep, I thought to John, one. I thought John wow. would keep one five. Yeah. I wasn't sure if Eugene would switch his strategy. Nice. I mean, that was a huge commit. Of course, I mean, now John has a huge card advantage, and he can just slowly gain that honor back. Uh, the only problem is that he's, uh, because he's already used his thing, if he drew an assassinate, which I don't think he did. Oh, he did draw an assassinate. Uh, he's not going to be able to use that. He is going to be able to, if he wants to, uh, with Scorpion. The uh, Atomic Cordier, yeah. I don't know. I mean, uh, Atomic Cordier right now is such a low impact card that I no, don't well, feel. Way of the Scorpion. Way of the Scorpion. You mean I can swim? I can swim. Sorry, yes. My bad. <laughs> I always get those backwards. I always... <laughs> We, I can swim always seems so much more yeah, like the scorpion. Yeah. Uh, that's true. It's because it has that painterly kind yeah. of art on it. That's why. But yeah, you're right. I mean, he could. I think I can swim it has to happen during a conflict. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. First player did switch. Sorry, John had first uh, player. And okay, so the he actually can't do I can okay. swim this turn. And you know what? Maybe Eugene bid low, realizing that. Yeah. Yeah, he could just take the two honor. Now, as long as he doesn't reveal Manicured Garden, I think he's okay. <laughs> so he does reveal Secret Cash. Uh, very big card for, very good province for Scorpion. Allows him to dig through the top five cards of his library. Find something. Looks like another, a conflict character in his hand, and... There's the character. Yeah. I feel like you, yeah, yeah. You want to bring in the. Uh, I'm assuming with Ujimbo as well into this. You play your own Haru. So seven, uh, seven to four, dodge advantage. Yeah, but the only thing important here is just it's a, this is a chump attack because he's gonna try to pull in maybe. John's Yoga Haru? No, John's Yoga Haru is already Oh, there. sorry, my bad. Yeah, okay. Oh, so it's the two top it's characters two on that, yeah. 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 So, so that John wants to take away a, a potential military attack from Eugene. I mean, I think Eugene has another Yojimbo in hand that he has uh, plentiful fate to play. 
The only thing is that Jimbo's not going to do much in a political conflict with the... Uh, no, I mean, it's for a second military conflict for the gym. Yes. This is actually the top table, so both these players are 2-0. Uh, and as we mentioned earlier, this is the final round, so uh, the winner of this... This match is probably going to be the overall winner of the event. Well, they, yeah, definitely will. Yes. Uh, yeah, so for today we had uh, two scorpion players, a unicorn, a crane. crab. Two uh, crabs and a crane. Two crabs and a crane? Yeah. I wasn't sure what the last, that, the second crab. I hadn't seen yet. So yeah, uh, we're getting into the holiday season, so it's started to impact the turnout for some of these events. For uh, the last couple tournaments we had, we had like, roughly around 20 players. Um, you know, it's possible some of the L5R players decided to drop Magic instead today, too. It's entirely possible. <laughs> you know, one thing I'm... Uh, not looking forward to is I'm just so used to the release of one new pack a week is uh, after next week it's going to be what I think a month or two until uh, yeah, the next thing comes out I don't out. think we'll see anything until maybe February of next yeah. year um, but I'll be honest having to go out and buy a new pack every week is kind of yeah. a pain uh, mostly just because I've been trying to support a different store than the one I've come to on Thursday nights so yeah. it's been off schedule with the release Oh, Kachiko. Yeah. Nice. I thought with that mitt full of... I don't know, just, I hadn't seen it in his hand, so... With, oh, sorry, with that mitt full of fate. Alright. So, for shame. Now, I feel like actually you bow here. Right? You bow, and then you use Kachiko's ability to send home Yogo and bow him. And then you're still winning the conflict, I believe. No, it decides you can send, to... You can send home the backing artist and have the same effect. Oh, no. If you drop that creature, I would... No, it's not enough of a switch. No. Because blackmail artists only gain... Like, they only lose one political no, hero. I, I, I did forget... No, they are at six. I was wrong. I hadn't noticed a dishonor on that black and artist, so... Okay. It would be enough to swing the bow. I mean, that, that all suggests no other tricks. See? Oh. Shame. Plays the sentry to cancel that. He does have the uh, favor. All right, we've got a policy debate happening here. So four to one. <laughs> I think this does present Eugene with an interesting choice. He could try to take it. Or he could just cancel it here as well. He's got a 4G to get him. Oh no, he can't. He does not have... Oh, he does, sorry, he doesn't. I don't think I don't think John can really afford to bid anything here. Yeah, that was a fairly forced one there. Yeah. So a lot, a lot of military tools and I think uh, your Jimbo goes away. Now, is face wor wor fate worse than death? Have any? Restrictions on play. Uh, I don't. Like you just don't. Just four feet, right? Just four feet, yeah. 
So he could just use a face worse than death on Haru, right? John, yeah, John thought he was winning here, and he's not. That one point of uh, Yojimbo that he brought in is actually making the difference now. Yeah. And the air ring, he's going to take one, one honor here. I mean, he still does, like, if he really doesn't want to lose this, yeah. he could actress, right? So sacrificing the actress and going and fishing something from, uh, yep. from the discard. Nothing, there's nothing really strong that he can fish out, though. Uh, if he fishes out the uh, social illusionist, he gets plus three political, and he can spend a... Oh, he doesn't have any yeah, faith. Never mind, no. sorry. But he does get plus three political uh, from fishing that out. So Haru did actually move someone in on uh, from Eugene's side, so just bring the favorite niece in. Oh, interesting. This, this means there's a court games coming? I don't know, I just, I feel like he's gonna play a fate worse than death on Haru. That's entirely possible. Because, because here's what you do, you, 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 you Fate worse than death. Then you, uh, because you win the conflict, you dishonor favored niece. Yes. And when Haru and blackmail artists go away at the end of the turn, you lose two honor. In addition to the honor you steal from the yep. air ring. So he's, I think he's trying to win the game off this. Well, I mean, there's still the fire ring out there, so. Uh, yep, that's true. As long as he can defend the fire ring, so. Uh, Sean Gratton asks, uh, if the rest feel looks like there's any other 2-0 matches. No, this is actually the top table. There are only six players at this event today. Uh, so this is round three. These are the only two players who went undefeated. At the conclusion of this round, the tournament will be over, and the winner of this will be the winner of the tournament. You can also, yeah, court masses, I think, is what you're thinking about here. Right, so he Chico sends the niece home. Kachiko, court games, honor, Yoga Haru. Man, I just, I feel like I'm missing something with fate, a fate worse than death. Maybe he's just saving it for the counterattack. So that puts, uh, yeah. John, and if he plays a court mask, yeah. Here it comes. Nope. Now there's a let. I think is there a let go in John's hand? Oh, I don't it's hard to see. Oh, I guess, yeah, John, no, interesting. I mean, there, I don't think there's a cancel effect for attachment, so he's just going to go ahead and attach it, but, yeah, he does yeah. have to let go. Is the uh, actress uh, Shujendo? Uh, no, it's okay. Shinobi. Oh, Shinobi, right. Sorry. Yeah, so I did see, I also, I did yeah, see the cloud, the, the, uh, cloud in the mine in his hand. But, Unfortunate for John. But the thing is, he can use the actress to get the illusionist and then play cloud in the mine. He's going to need to declare a conflict first, though, because he has no money to play Call of the Mine. Right. 20 minutes left in the round, and we're still on turn three? Two, I think? Three. Something like that? Yeah. Only one province broken on Eugene's side, but he has a potential to win the game this turn if he plays his cards right. Because John will be able to get, uh, probably likely win the fire ring, I don't think it 
I think there's a way for him to salvage it. Well, that, that's why I think he's saving a fate worse than death for that uh, when he tries to push for the fire ring. Okay. Yeah. So what happened there? Sorry. I missed it. Oh, he lost the conflict. Hmm. So that actually uh, saved him a bit because the blackmail artist triggered upon winning that political conflict took an honor from Eugene. So whereas John was teetering on the brink now, I think he's going to use this to gain a foothold and start climbing back. He has a lot of work ahead of him, but... Yeah, so sure actress, Water Ring, uh, probably looking to... Hmm. Yeah, oh well. So that is a shameful display. Uh, not that bad for a Sashiro actress, but I mean, if she's going to use the ability, she's going to lose an honor for it, so. But she, she's still winning because of the political favor. Yep. Just lets it happen. Standing Yoga Huru, yep, as I thought. And so, an honored Yoga Huru actually has two military strengths, so. Yeah. Assuming Eugene doesn't have any other plays, he might use it to um, to try to grab the fire ring and honor, um, re honor John one is of his sitting guys. On, John's actually sitting on four honor. You can see the coins on the top of the screen. Just answering Sintour's question on the screen. Yeah. The, uh, the dial on the bottom of the screen is just his honor bid dial. Yeah, it's the uh, the dials from uh, you get from attending a Grand Cote. Those uh, honor dishonor tokens, are those also Grand Cote uh, No, prices? those look like uh, custom made things. Maybe. I assume they're custom made ones. Because I've seen the ones that Shane has. Yeah. Those are, I think, official I, I ones. The Cotes, unless the, I would have assumed the Cote had the same kind right. that were at Worlds. Uh huh. But, Okay, yeah, so John had already done a political, so now he has to do a military here. So, yeah, John is sitting at four on four on our left. Oh, a charge, nice. He's going to cancel it, I think. Cancel back. Sorry. Who did he dishonor for that? The uh, uh, hero. Oh, okay, yeah. Where did he didn't go for the fire? I, think, I guess he was just trying to strip Kachiko of, uh, of fate. Or he might just be trying to go down to uh, only one character carrying over. It's not a, it's not a Jujimbo just described as well? Oh no. Is actress either discard or just dynasty? No, just the discard pile. No, but dynasty or a combo oh, pile? Uh, I believe it's both. Yeah. So just bonsai. Um, did spend a fate, so. Or did spend an honor, sorry. Back up 4 4. 
Okay. Right, so five to four now. It's so any discard pile. Okay. So yeah, yeah, we did confirm it is any discard pile. So uh, actress could bring a uh, Yujimbo back in. Ooh, thank you, Tana. Trying to decide what to do here. Could also just wave Scorpion first. Who are you waving the Scorpion? Yunako. Uh, yeah, it would work if it was a non-Scorpion card. Oh, right. Sorry. Right. <laughs> the, uh, the greatest virtue of the Scorpion is loyalty, so right, they can't so do shit to their own stuff. John does let it go. Not actually the card, but he lets that combat go. Yep. It's been tough. I mean, Scorpion, the Scorpion Ooh. Mirror is a lot more grindy than I thought it would have been. No, oh. Well, if he did have a, uh, that was Ooh. a fate worth the death in his hand, right? Yeah. Th he, that, it should have been the game. Man, I, I'm just, I just don't know if I'm missing. I don't want to go over there and read the guy's card from his hand, but I really feel like if he did play, yeah, if he did play a fate worth the death, that would have been the game. Uh, unless he was just worried about it getting forged edicted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So he could have played the character. Okay. That. So that. Uh, could have played that in the middle of the year last time. The that the opportunity been. is still there for him. He's. Uh, I mean, Eugene is the first player actually, so he's gonna probably try to get an air conflict going here. So Eugene just needs to remember to take the fate. Okay, I was mistaken. Sorry, John is actually going to be the first player. Um, so uh, he's going to get the first opportunity to act. So there's uh, another Yunako he can throw in. Oh. So, yeah. And the fact that John had a fate yeah. uh, left last turn, I would have brought the Illusionist back in and used it to remove the other uh, I agree. Dishonor token. Yep. Just you're, you're playing on two final line here. So as it is, John just uh, right away takes that takes that honor with his stronghold. I think you do you play Yunako here and just pass. I think. Mm. You may with John. Well, John. Yeah, I think John's through, gone through most of his four edict. Like, the rumor monger is tempting to put the dishonor token on someone who is going to be going away this turn, right? Accelerating that win condition. But yep. I don't think John has a lot of the cards that would normally be doing the dishonor. Actress. Okay, here's another opportunity actually for John to. Uh... Although he doesn't have any more Dishonored characters, so he's not in a rush to, to remain Dishonored. So, but there's a young rumor monger. Uh, it's been a little bit of what's in John's hand. I just got the one uh, conflict character, so. No, two, okay. Oh, that, that was maybe a attachment. John still may be frustrated that he hadn't seen a Shino, uh, Shijinja. I mean, we'll see if he sees the play this turn. Just needs to grab that Illusionist, and then he can play the Cloud of the Mind. So, one, two, I feel like they both drew one. Yeah, they yeah. both did one that turn. It looks like for... <clears throat> Yeah, at this point, uh, Eugene's greatest out to victory is going to have to be the, the dishonor route. 
So we got 10 minutes left in the round. I'm just going to remind the players yeah. here. So John, uh, use his favorite niece, gets rid of the useless way of the scorpion to get another uh, Yojimbo that he can play. Like John's just trying to decide if he's going to do another. And uh, he's not going to use another favorite niece trigger this turn. Oh, I lied. He is going to trigger one more time. I'm not sure what he's discarding here. Uh, I can swim. It's probably not a bad idea. You may not have the conditions for it. Um, well, your honor still is just calling in favors. Yeah, I mean, your honor is so low that you neither want to dishonor your own guy to call in favors, potentially, or right. do you want do you want to bid high enough to to turn on? Sure. I can swim. I can see potentially a desperation calling in favors happening, whereas with Scorpion, you just your dial's never going to get in that position. So, so if time is called right now, it's going to look like uh, John has two. Imperial favor is one or two points. One point. So just three to Eugene's two. Yes. Yeah. Still two other call. Okay, so he's going to start with the unassuming Jimbo, no fate on it. Uh, both players know that there are less than 10 minutes left, so uh, putting fate on characters becomes less of a priority. Uh, Rob could still pull this off. I mean, if he has the cards in his hand to do the uh, fate worse than death play, and he has a very, looks like very deliberately left for fate uh, in his fate pool for that yep. reason. John, it's really hard not to go for that two fate, but uh, he is really concerned about the air ring. Depends on your hand, right? Because I, I think there's at least one more conflict character in John's hand. The two fate might actually be useful to uh, to play that conflict character out. Well, there's also the cloud of the mind that could come into play here. Yep. Obviously, John has no true gender, but we know that he can steal one with the actress. Considering a political error, Secret cash, nice. He knew what that was going to be. Just based on the other cards that he's seen. Oh, for shame. Forged Edict. All really good cards here. See an unassuming Jimbo, which... I mean, the, the problem is John has an unassuming Jimbo on his side, so he can't go for it past it. Uh, but for shame might actually do some work here. He just needs to not lose this conflict. Um, so that John doesn't just gain two honor, sure. which is what most assuredly he's going to do here if he does win. John's at eight strength between those two characters and the political favor. Just a reminder, this will be our last round of the day. Uh, thank you for those that have uh, stuck with the stream. Uh, we will be posting these individual videos on our YouTube channel, and we do have some previous matches up there. 
I'm not sure we'll have any more live streams before the holidays. Uh, but for those who do follow multiple games, we will have the X-Wing Regionals on the 6th of uh, January. And I'm not sure which weekend, but we'll definitely have uh, a L5R event uh, in January, even if it is a, a tournament without any real prize support. We may do some uh, some additional casual games just to keep some activity on the channel, um, but, but that remains to be seen. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to get uh, notified when those do come out. Um, always happy to see more subscribers on our channel. Is that uh, court games, do you care? For sure. For sure? Yeah. Court games might have actually been a little bit better in this scenario, but uh, yeah, if you can force shame on Yoga Haru, John Go Bay will probably just bow it, just to be sure. Yeah, I don't think yeah. John is worried about. If he loses this, he's still okay. Right. Well, I don't know, like. John, John just needs to be able to see the, the social illusionist play that actually will save him uh, because of the effect. So this was, what is that, for shame? Yeah. For shame, sending Yoga Haru home. Or sorry, bowing him. And then, the uh, thing is, Bayushi Kachiko only has three uh, political strengths, so she can't actually send home the, the actress either. So this looks like a court games, perhaps. Yeah, that will definitely take yeah. him back out of send home. Uh, y Yunako is still active, though, right? Yeah. Court games targeting Eugene. Going <coughs> Yunako. Yeah, so then he uses Kachiko's ability to send home your Haru. John's still winning here. Mm -hmm. Sure, he'd love to actually be uh, able to break, but. So Yunako uses his power on himself. John's thinking about that court mask. I'm not sure Eugene actually has anything left. No, I don't think so. Although he can use a favorable ground to move in the young rumor monger to win this conflict. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, Sintor does uh, point out that he could have used the young rumor monger to prevent Yunako from getting dishonored. Yeah. Yeah, Eugene still does the option, has the option of pulling someone back with uh, favorable ground. He does put himself at risk of having the province broken. Although I don't know that John has anything to do with it. 
Yeah, Sinter, I agree for sure. Legend of the Five Rings is very taxing. Uh, playing through a tournament mix for a very, very long day. Yeah, they're going to keep playing. Yeah. They're both undefeated, so uh, it doesn't actually matter if they get a modified win, the winner. They're still going to be the person. Well, those modif it does matter for the person who loses. Yes, the modified loss means they don't get any points for losing. Once again, does not chooses not to do a fate worth some death. I feel like that play, yeah, I think that was a big mistake, not using that card in the previous turn. <clears throat> that would have definitely sealed the game, I think. Well, he should have also done it here to prevent that loss. Yep. Yeah. Fate worse than death last turn would have been the game. It would have been the last, uh, been able to dishonor one more character. Uh, that would have meant a loss for John. For John. I mean, he knows that John's gone through a lot of his cancels. There's a good chance that John doesn't have any in his hand. And obviously, we know that he doesn't. Uh, and it's not like... Uh, it's not like that losing that fate was really going to be a, a major problem for you, Jim. So this is... Yeah. Military fire just with the Yujimbo? Yeah. Presumably, uh, yeah, he's he, going to block with this uh, Coverted the favorite niece just because there's nothing else to do. Okay, so they both have, they both have three strings. So Eugene plays Bonsai. Chooses not to get the court mask back before he sacrifices the actress. It's nine to five for Eugene right now. So what is this? This is shameful. What? Yeah. So I think I are they trying they're, to figure they're, out they're arguing about whether yeah. he can retarget the human wrong or the dishonor. Something that's already dishonored? Yeah. They don't gain a token, so yeah. you cannot move the token to another character. You can't push the dishonor. Yeah, in order for a young rumor monger to move a dishonor token, they have to be able to gain one. Yeah. And if they already have a dishonor token, uh, they can't move it. Now he's just going to let it break. happen, yeah. But he does get fired. Oh no. Wasn't that 9 to 7? Must have been 10 to 7. <laughs> 7, 9. I mean, I can't do anything. No, it was 6. Because. No, sorry, you're right, you're right. They may have missed that. <laughs> so, Junior Mario is both proc, but it bounces it back. So, a dishonored uh, favorite niece means doesn't actually have any skill to contribute. He does, and he's already uh, declared an heir, sorry, a political conflict, so he won't be able to use the favor. I don't think it was worth popping the actress to try to defend here. No. Nope. I think he needed to counterattack. Yep. And he could have uh, done the water ring to bring up something that mattered. So your Jimbo. I thought John only had two fate left. All right. I missed that. It must have been a fate off the table.
Yeah, he might as well have done the water to, yep. in case um, in case having favor mattered. Yeah, they're playing it out. Ooh, assassinate. Wait, assassinate going to one? I really don't understand that play. But he has no other choice. He needs to break a problem oh, before he loses. Fate worse than death. Please. Well, Fate worse than death, he can just play a Jimbo after this and uh, go on a post. Did you just play it? Yeah, yeah there finally. we go. Finally. Fate worse than death. There's a the handshake. So it All looks right. like Eugene won that through Dishonor. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I feel like he maybe missed that opportunity a couple of turns ago, but in the end it did not matter. So congratulations to Eugene uh, winning this event.